Damn, that was sick. Called Tobu? Toy TX Boats? Oh, I did not expect this. Is it enough? <laughs> they gotta think I'm crazy. <laughs> มาพบกับคลิปรีแอคชั่นกันอีกแล้วนะคะกอดอีกครั้งนะคะมาพบกับคลิปรีแอคชั่นกันอีกแล้วนะคะกอดอีกครั้งนะคะมาพบกับคล
Not what I expected. I know these guys are like super huge. I've heard their name a lot over the past couple years, but I've never actually listened to them. Ooh. <laughs> he has a pretty voice. <laughs> I've never seen a guy like that in Thailand. <laughs> like this like long hair and everything. He looks cool. Everyone's looking. Everybody's style is so different from what I'm used to in Thailand. It's awesome. Oh, I like this song. It reminds me of my friend's old like high school pictures and stuff. <laughs> The, the instrumentation is actually pretty straightforward. There's nothing really that impressive going on, but it's just a good song. That's cool to see in a band on a building. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I can imagine so many people must love this song when it came out. It's got one of those choruses that, like, is so of its time, and you can tell people would really appreciate when it released. Because even now, I, I still think it's a great song. It hasn't aged. I mean, it's it's aged well. I wonder what year this is. Oh, I did not expect this. It looks like the early 2000s. What the fuck? Are they playing? <laughs> They're playing like six strings and shit. That was sick. Oh, his voice is so pretty. <laughs> the vocals are this nice clean sound that remind me of like some Japanese bands that I'd listen to in high school. But the instrumentation is so powerful, like. American alternative music or something. It's a really cool band. Good writing. Really good writing. I love the heavy parts. <laughs> it's so unexpected for some reason. I think because the, the chorus is really like catchy and melodic. Every time it hits like a breakdown or something, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> did not expect that. Oh yeah, it just keeps coming back to this. I like that song. What a different time. I don't even know what to say about them. I just like them. They were really cool. I liked these guys. They are very really cool. I feel like I like rock music. <laughs> <laughs> the music has aged really well. I think people nowadays must still be listening to this. I'm sure all the comments are like, who's still listening to this in 2021? I can tell the video was at least like 15 years old because, oh, like over 10 years old because everyone had like old phones. <laughs> there was no iPhones. Was the iPhones back then? This is the kind of band whose music sticks around for a long time. And I bet they, they have really good albums. I think nowadays people release singles and music videos. It's just the way culture has changed with music being digitally streamed and everything. The album format to me is really valuable. And I feel like this is the kind of band that you back then would just buy like a full album and listen to it front to back. You don't just change to some other artist every other song or throw it on shuffle. You just sit down and listen to it. How many music videos do you think have like an iconic singer holding an umbrella shot? <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. 
I love the production value of this because you know there's just a dude shooting water from like 200 feet away and like orange and blue lights giving it this like vibe. She's so confused by the rain. <laughs> she's looking outside like she's never seen rain before. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> she, she's the only one that knows that it's a dude with a hose. The song is fire, by the way. Haven't commented on that yet. Love that. <laughs> this video looks like it was shot by like an Instagram photographer. <laughs> A bunch of like neon lights and everything. And watches. <laughs> is that like a like a brand deal or something? Like the the people who paid for the video to be made. Uh her voice is so cute. It's really nice to see her. I like the eye makeup. I owe a certain amount of respect to her and Ice because of that song that I covered and had a great um, amount of feedback from. I like her outfit. Aww. Love the clothing, her voice, everything. So satisfying every time. His voice is super nice. Oh, there's like a very digital vibrato on his voice there. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's like a really harsh like auto tune. I'm not sure I'm in love with, but it's cool. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, production's so good. This is one of those things where I check the producer and I recognize the name, you know? Oh. Here it is. Love that. The outfits are great. Oh, she cheats. She cheated. <laughs> Again with the watch! With it. <laughs> they have to have paid for the thing! They have to have been the people that like budgeted the video or something, right? Who produced this? Produced by Turbo. I liked it. It reminded me of other Thai songs I've heard. You too. First, first uh, uh, on your watch. It reminded me a little bit of first on your watch. And I liked the music video. Turbo, great. Producer, I guess, not just singer. He he reminds me of like a the toys kind of kind of dude. He seems very talented. Um, Perwa, I don't know so much music from her, but I just know Love Siren and I know this song. And I think she's beautiful. I think her voice is beautiful. I think I owe a lot to her and her music and career and everything because it's afforded me a great opportunity just connecting with with people from across the world through music and everything. Yeah, I've only seen her well now in this but before in um ambulance i've seen that music video it was called ambulance right the song <laughs> love siren love siren ambulance right love siren ambulance this is it called love siren love siren ambulance my ambulance <laughs> what are you what are, why are you laughing uh -huh. <laughs> I thought she was in a band called Love Siren and the song was called My Ambulance. <laughs> yeah, well, all I've seen from her is Love Siren in the song that I just listened to called Turbo? Toy T Expo? That's the name of the dude in the video. What's the song called? Why? The song was produced by Apiela though, that's cool. I He was a rapper. He's a rapper. Thai rapper, I know that. 
Papaya! <laughs> My baby metal. Actually, I just, I actually had a papaya for the first time a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I still, I have, so, I still have more things to say. How do you say the guy's name? His name's Tobo, or T Expo. It's probably Tixerbo. Tixerbo. I don't know. I feel like I need to say more. You said. I've said enough. <laughs> they gotta think I'm crazy. <laughs> Okay, I, I guess I'm done. That's all we've got for you in this video, but if you enjoyed, you can check out some of our other reactions or some of the other content I have floating around on YouTube. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I do music-related content from around the world. You can check out my music, reactions, covers, etc. on my channel. Social media will be in the description as well as probably somewhere on screen. I really recommend following my Instagram because besides YouTube, that, that's sort of the place that I'm the most active. There should be a playlist appearing on screen to videos just like this one as well as some other recommended content for you to check out. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Bye, subscribe. <laughs>